be honest with you guys, I don't even know where to begin this video. Uh, it's very unfortunate, it, it really is. So it's, uh, what day is today? Thursday, I'm not at school. It's not because of Easter, um, it's, it's, much, it's much more unfortunate than that. So I get weekly COVID tests at school because I'm an athlete. Um, I woke up this morning feeling the best I have felt in a long time. I felt great, I felt energized, ready to go. And my test came back positive, my COVID test. Uh, you can imagine my surprise and uh, my disappointment. Right now we're gonna head off to get another test just to kinda clarify things, just to see. And then we're gonna, we're gonna go from there. I did bring the Mustang home though. It does fit in the garage, so that's a plus. Worst comes to worst though, I have that motor right there. I brought tools, um, so we'll have a nice 10 day, no, it's more than that of working on the Mustang and try to get the radio working. I got a whole list pile up that we can do now um, that we're not allowed to be around people. So we'll be around cars. They make good company. Yeah, listening to that, uh, that's definitely, that's not gonna get old anytime soon. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We got it, we got it. Yeah, that's right, baby, that's right. On a different note, I, on the way up here, I had like five people try to race me, like a Ram Rebel, Toyota Tundra, some other stuff. Of course we didn't race them, because we're responsible adults. And we don't do that kind of thing, but it's still, it's still cool. And 90,000, 995.9, we're gonna hit 91 very soon. Probably like right now. On a completely different note, it is an absolutely beautiful day today. It is so gorgeous. Bluebird skies, it's like in the 70s. It's perfect. It's the perfect weather to be driving the car. We're doing some outside with friends, but hey, you know. RIP. Test is done. We're gonna find out either tomorrow or the next day what the verdict is. Gosh, I hope it's negative. I feel great, I wanna do stuff. Since we've got the Mustang home, I figure we might as well uh, go ahead and unload some of the stuff that was in the back. So you can see, it's all gone. The carpet is removed from like the first episode we had this, because it was just, it needed to be replaced. We got this pile of assorted tools and stuff, also stuff on the shelf, all that oil, a few other miscellaneous parts, including that fuel rail down there. That all came out of the trunk, so no more rattling around. I can actually put stuff back here. Something that we are gonna have to fix though, uh, all these wires back here are, they're just dangling around. They're not connected. I don't know if it's fire hazard, but it seems like it might be. Also, we do have a small oil leak. Now, we have known about this. Kind of forgot about it, to be honest. There is an oil leak. I, I can't remember if I said it's from the oil pan or it's from the valve cover or the head. We're debating on that. Either way, we weren't too worried about it. I'm just gonna check the oil because uh, we got that motor right there to put in the car. So we're not overly worried about that. We'll diagnose it more if we need to. And when we pull the motor out, we can kind of fix that problem. Now this head unit does work. It has a pop-up screen. The sound wasn't playing through the speaker. So sometime while I'm back, we're gonna try to tackle this, see if we can get those speakers to work because I'm using my Bluetooth speaker and it's great. It's just not the same. Got a good little list going of things we need to do. Check the oil for sure. It might be low now that I know how much it's leaking. Uh, we're gonna pull the Mustang out though. I got schoolwork to do still, even though I can't be at school. So we're gonna go ahead and tackle that. It's a new day y'all and we got some good, good news today. First though, we're gonna back the Mustang in the garage. We're gonna check the oil, uh, see just how, how low it is. I rearranged the garage a little bit this morning so I can get it to fit a little bit better it's very snug, it's very snug, but it is fitting back there. I got my little brick so I know when to stop. And the garage door, it's very close. I think we're gonna be good. We're gonna check the oil real quick, just see what we're looking like. Here's the uh, the leak. It's 
kind of yeah it's 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 leaking a little bit um yeah, i don't like that it'll be okay though we'll get through it moment of truth how are we looking how are we looking well really i mean it looks it looks fine honestly i don't know how the engine oil is not low i thought it would be it's not it's right where it needs to be i even gave it the old taste test yeah it's oil you can see the leak though i'll, I'll show you right down there you can see it leaking so it's not a super slow leak it's not a fast leak i definitely don't like how much it's leaking though i really don't want to crawl under there so it's leaking off that sway bar right there and a little wire right up under there which is wonderful and you can see oil all up in there so as long as the oil level doesn't go too low not too worried totally didn't realize yesterday that I left some more oil spots on the ground which is which is really great I got the Mustang Park it was sitting here overnight woke up this morning in a very inspirational mood for some reason I just walked out to look at the car because I wanted to see it it this car represents a lot more than just another build it's, it's the manifestation of dreams like I'm taking this step into that world of sports car muscle car where it was only trucks before it was a big leap of faith it was a big jump it was very risky but i'm glad i did it never wouldn't have done it any other way and when it's all said and done and this thing is built it's just going to be an absolute monster and i can't wait to share that with you guys if you have this dream if you love cars take the jump i'm 20 years old i bought this for a thousand bucks very poor financial decision but i took the jump i did it anyway everything's worked out it's not, I haven't gone bankrupt or anything. I am gonna leave y'all with that though. I hope that maybe inspired somebody out there. You can do it just because you're young doesn't mean you can't buy cool cars. You can still do it as long as you work and save your money. But next time, I'm probably still gonna be in quarantine, but there is hope that I can get out early. We'll see, you gotta tune in to the next video for that. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the first three days of quarantine. I think that's what it's been. I don't know what we're gonna do now. I gotta figure something out. But until next time, y'all take it easy. Keep crushing it, and I'll catch y'all very soon.